Hey everybody, Larelia here. Want to do a quick video response that um, a a um, a person I don't want to say their name uh, left me a comment on their video um, or my video, I should say. And I always like to do these video responses because there's always someone else who may have the same question. And the good thing is, is that I get to do a video uh, to answer it. So not only am I answering the person who who asked me the question. But I also get to um, share the information with someone else who may have this question. And it has to do with the debt validation letter and the um, information that is um, given to you. Now, this is what trips people up. A lot of people don't even know what it is that they should um, be getting um, in um, with their debt validation. Now, um, I put a sample letter. Um, if you go to uh, my website, www. Uh, yourmoneymentor.com under resources you will see a debt validation letter it's a sample letter now on that letter I give you um, the all the things that the debt collector has to get you give you now some things offhand I'm going to tell you they're supposed to give you the original contract now if it's a credit card they need to give you the original contract that you signed when you got that credit card um, another thing that they need to send you is that they need to supply they need to give you uh, the original agreement or should I say the assignment agreement between the party who is the original creditor and the debt collector. The reason why you want to see that assignment contract is because you want to know do they have the legal authority to be able to collect on that debt. And so don't get confused. Now, this is a very common thing that debt collectors do. They will provide you with a computer printout from their computer of a general ledger showing you the balance that is owed and they'll have their letterhead on it and then they'll say that this is a valid, um, this is a valid debt validation. Unfortunately, that's not it. Now, the thing that I want to note, now I want to say that the person who commented on the video, I think they were referring to a medical account. The only reason why I want to say that is because they mentioned something in the video about medical treatments. Now, this is a, um, a loophole that you can use, but unfortunately, I can't go through all the steps on this video because there are there's a process that you would need to do. But when it comes to medical debts, what a lot of consumers don't know that there are HIPAA laws, um, HIPAA, H-I-P-P-A-A, -A, I, I think it's the acronym. And what that, ha what, what that is, is that it's a federal law created by the federal government that has to do with your privacy rights and what the medical professional um, um, is allowed to share um, with another party. Now, that is a very good law to leverage when you are dealing with a debt collector regarding medical accounts. Now, there's a process to it. It's too much for me to go into in this video. So if you have came across any material of mine, I may have talked about it before. I'll put a link in this video. I, I think offhand I may have did a video um, in the past. I definitely know I did a, an article and I'll link that um, to this video. And you may want to revisit that. But what I also want to share is that, you know, it is great to get free information. And by all means, if free information can help you, like I did, I did a video earlier. I had a gentleman who has been watching my videos implemented and um, he's been getting results. But if you're at a place in life where you are trying to implement some things, but you're still not getting the results that you want, keep in mind that the information is free. So the learning curve of what you're trying to do, because you're doing two things, you're learning the information and then you are implementing the information in order for you to get help. And so the process is going to take a little longer because why you don't have a sounding board. Um, you don't have someone who will help you and guide you along the way. Now, is it anything wrong with that? No. I'll be very honest with you and very transparent. When I started my journey in 1999, yes, the internet was out there, but it wasn't, the information was not as plentiful. So I, I'll be honest with you. I had to use old fashioned books and uh, resources. And so 
you know, I had to make some mistakes. So, you know, it, it, so not only, so what I want to make the point is, is that it is free, but you will have to pay and you're going to pay with time. But that's why I put these video responses out there is because hopefully this video can answer the question regarding debt validation. The point that I want to make with debt validation is be very certain you're getting the documents that you are supposed to get. Because if not, a debt collector can send you anything and you will think, okay, that will suffice and he, he or she has given me what it is that they want. So once again, hope this information has helped you. Like I said, I'll put some links below just in case um, to go over some of the things that I discussed in this video. And uh, good luck. And once again, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'm looking forward to sharing more content with you. Okay, talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.